First Baptist Church, Hingham, Massachusetts, on January 1st, 2023. Our call to worship is drawn from Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of God's hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the earth. Come, let us worship the Lord as we stand and sing our opening hymn. There's something about that name. Please stand. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and we especially pray that the leadership of our nation would bear witness to truth, illuminating a just path, a path that is truly better, not just for our nation, but a path that is better and sound for other nations to follow, where they would serve one another and take care of neighbors and especially take care of the most vulnerable. This is our heart's desire as we pray that you do this through your grace and the ongoing evidence of your truth and love. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. And as we pray for the global conditions, and there are so many, we are especially mindful of our God of love, that you know us each and you call us by name, that you know the concerns that we carry in our house, whatever they may be, the concerns of health, for our family members, the concerns of health and well-being for our church members. And so we turn to you and we seek to be faithful in lifting up the names of those people that we love, those people that we care about, and that we want to, like the widow who went before the unjust just, to be faithfully persistent in our prayers. May this be a reality because of your grace and our desire to be obedient and be your prayer presence for those people that we love. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. And so therefore, I will speak prayers of names, simply their first names because they are known by most of us. And as I deliberately release these names to you, I will pause. And I invite individuals within this gathered family, as well as those who are hearing this recording, to take these moments and to intentionally think of those people that you want to add to the prayers that we lift up. We ask you to receive all prayers, both spoken and those that we carry in our hearts when we remember. Dory. Marion, Barbara S, Joy, and thanksgiving because Jesus the name above all names is also our mediator and because of your love and the power of being seated at the right hand of your father in heaven you have unlimited capacity to hear our prayers our spoken prayers and those prayers that we carry in our hearts Lord and now we unite as we offer the prayer that you taught your disciples when together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom the power 